morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. It's November the 6th, is it? Yeah. Something I drove to the church with my top down. Before we get into the, the announcements real quick, uh, a couple of quick notices in the bulletin. After the message, we will not be sharing in Holy Communion, and that whole sub-paragraph there. Um, we're going to wait for Pastor Deb to come back and continue with that. And that's all I know. Welcome, everyone. Do we have any other announcements for the benefit of the church or the community? Body. I'd like to... Announce, or you haven't already read it in the newsletter that Joey has sent out and so forth. I think it's in the new one. Um, anyways, this Friday night is that, or this Friday is Veterans Day, and for the 22nd year, the, my 4-H club and myself and Club Sandwich will be joining and putting together a spaghetti supper to say thank you to veterans and to welcome the whole community. I'm really excited. For the last two years, we've done recognized Veterans Day as a takeout supper because we were concerned about bringing people together in a large group and things. But the deacons of the Greek, or the church, has decided that um, this year we can serve meal, the meal here for those who want to gather. We will also have. Um, I have the styrofoam takeout boxes and stuff like that. So if people want to let me know ahead of time, we can have takeout meals ready for them when they call and um, we'll pack them up and they can call them up in the parking lot or whatever so that we can have it all ready and don't have to go around to pick it up to take it home. But, um, What's the date on that again? That's Veterans Day. Veterans Day, November 11th. November, and what day of the week is that? It is Friday. Friday, so it's a this week. Year, this year, it's this, this coming Friday. This coming Friday. And, and, and what time will it start? We'll start serving around 4.30. We've moved it earlier because some of our older people who come on a regular basis really like to be home close to dark. This yep. year. Or before it gets dark, dark. Yes. Yep. Kind of thing. So, um... We'll start at 4.30 and we serve until 6.30. And, uh, um, Does there, and then is it by donation or? Um, we ask the non-veterans to, um, to do, a eight, we ask for $8 to, to help make up the, the cost of, the, of everything that I've purchased. And, uh, um, we great. Other donations are more than welcome, more than appreciated. And all this for the, it's good. It's it's a fundraiser for the four acres. Um, it's not a fundraiser. It's We're a, not doing it as a, a fundraiser. We're right. doing it to say thank you. And to if we can break even, that's or great. If can. not, it's don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's what I do for my husband. Um, Veterans Day is a celebration here with, a, with my 4-H club started in 2001 when our country was patriotic and everybody wanted to say thank you. Great. And we had a rainy, stormy um, fair that year, weather at the fair, and I had donated all the corn, canned corn and the um, kidney beans for the chili and chowder that the 4-H food booth used to do. And we had lots of leftover cans, and they were going to be outdated by the next year. And Bud said, do you think you could get your kids to do this? And we did a chili and chowder supper the first year. The kids didn't like chili and chowder, and we changed it to spaghetti the next year. So many, and so have it been up since that point. Great, great. Okay, thank you. So that's November 11, 4.30 to 6.30 come and eat or take it away right and you can pay and not eat at all too and <laughs> i have a sign up sheet if people would like to sign up um just because it gives me an idea of how many i'm planning and preparing for but i basically make the same amount and we just right. make sure we're not running okay so nancy and i were all had the uh, privilege of uh, working together on Halloween out front here, and we had a blast. Nancy 
lady was uh, dressed up as one of our resident Holsteins. She looked gorgeous. Uh, we had video, we could show some. But, and I had a Chewbacca outfit on. So some, some kids don't know who Chewbacca is. So they, they, they were scared. But it was fun. Fun was had by all. Okay, a generous jumping at the bit. Go for it. Oops. It's hard to follow a cow in Chewbacca. <laughs> Just a reminder, uh, after our worship service today, we will have our special church meeting. And I just ask, please, that all church members stay so we can ensure that we have a full house to do the business of the church and we have a quorum in order to be able to do the business of the church. We have moved fellowship up into the narthex so you guys won't starve. And I promise to hold a very efficient and effective meeting. So we can conduct the business, everyone be heard, and be out of here in a decent amount of time. Um, there are a couple of, of the proposed bylaws and the executive summary out back, but hopefully everyone brought theirs with and they're prepared to do that. And before I leave, I just wanted to wish a happy birthday to Tucker. And if we can sing Tucker happy birthday. <laughs>
follow along in a call to worship. Life, life often makes us feel depressed and discouraged, but God is our source of hope. We don't expect life to treat us special, but we do need God to lift us up when we feel past down Life is because we're made in God's image. Life becomes what we let it become. If we let it become a gift of God, we will be refreshed with new hope. Our hope is in God, whom we believe is in our midst to make life a source of joy. Amen. Our opening song of praise is My Hope is Built, number 368. <laughs>